Hi, this is Kimberly, and I am going to right now use a tutorial video to show you how to crop out cars in Photoshop. Now, please keep in mind that I am new to this, probably just as new as you, or maybe even newer. So, um, I have learned from someone else, and I'm going to attempt now, uh, in a beginner manner, to share this with you. Okay, so you want to open your file in Photoshop. First off, create a second layer. So, um, and just in case you make any mistakes, you've always got got that good one. Um, okay, use your zoom tool over here to get in close. Let me see if I can uh, adjust this while I'm doing it. Okay, good. It should be doing that. All right. Um, okay. So get in as close as you need to get in to see really well. And keep in mind you can always push the space bar and get your hand tool you know, and move around the car this way. You, know, you have a very limited field of vision with it zoomed in that close. Uh, oops. You can see I don't know how to zoom out without uh, doing that. Okay. Um, now what you want to do is get the pen tool, which is right here, and you always want to make sure you have just the basic pen tool, not the free form, not you know, any of these other ones, just the basic pen tool. Um, click on the image to begin. Somewhere just on the edge, this will be your starting point. Um, I'll start right here. Okay. Um, then if you've got a straight line, just, just head over into a straight line. If you've got a curve that you want to try to go around, go around the curve, hold your uh, mouse down, and then adjust the curve out around the curve by pulling out. Um, when you hold down the mouse at the end of the line, it gives you these two guidelines and allow you to stretch in uh, whatever direction you need to go. Now, it looks like I probably should have um, put one in the middle there. Control Z will take you back. If you make a mistake, Control Alt Z will take you back however far you need to go. You can just keep pushing Control Alt Z to take you back and you may already know that. Um, so I'm going to just go here um, oops, and I'll let go. So, start again. Hold, remember to hold down if you think you're going to need to adjust it at all. Okay, and I'm just going to bend it out a little bit. Then come to my next point. Oh, okay, and also, so as you can see, when it came out this time, it was, it's extended out. These bars here will control, um, pulling this in. So, as you hover over it with the pen tool, you want to push Alt until you see a little carrot. And then that will allow you to use this arm here to pull it in, you know, wherever you need it to go. And then you can do, you know, the same over here. Okay, so then back to my point here. If you, if you do some stuff like that, you always want to come back to your point um, and click it. And it's good to go as far as you possibly can. The longer strokes you can make, whether they're curved or straight or whatever, the better the end result will be because it'll give you a smooth, um, a smooth line. So, you know, the more experienced you get at this, I think you know, someone more experienced might have been able to loop right around the whole thing here, um, but not me yet. So. Uh, again, these guy these guidelines here and the points are your friends. Um, when you first pull out, you just keep your mouse put, clicked, and you'll have you know use of this. Uh, this is really far. Let's see if I can get in. Again, when you come over here, though, you cannot just click on the end point. You have to hit Alt until you see the little carrot, and then it'll give you the ability to pull it in. Okay, and you can do the same. You know on the end to tweak it however you need to go. Okay, so back to our pen, pen point now. And this is like just a little straight line here. Um, then another curve. So you'll want to make sure you grab on there and keep it. And I didn't get the little end points here. Um, and I, to be honest with you, I'm not sure how to get them if you don't have them. Um, let me see if I just click on it. 
no, now I've deleted it. I don't want to undo that. Okay, let me carry on here. So I'm going to grab my hand by pushing the space bar, and then I get my little hand tool, which allows me to move around the car very easily. Um, okay, and uh, click back on my point. This is a curve here, but I'm going to stop here because that's pretty uh, a pretty good point right there. I probably won't be able to get around there without, um, you know, and keep it smooth. So, um, all right. And you can see, you know, I, like I said, I'm new at this and I'm, I'm sure, um, no, okay, I've got a line. You can see I've got a line out here that I, I didn't intend to have. Oh, unless, well, that's my arm, isn't it? I need that arm. Okay, I apologize. Was just what I was looking for. So remember, Alt, Carrot, and then you can can adjust um, the angle here. Now I accidentally put a point. I didn't do the carrot thing. All right, Alt, Carrot, and then you can adjust here as well. And you can see you, you actually have quite a bit of um, you know leeway here to, to transform this line. So once, with some practice, um, you can get pretty proficient at this, I, I imagine. Um, and again, go as far as you think you can go on this curve. Now, I've cropped this car before, and I had a little trouble going that far. Um, so I'm going to just come to here first, so I can get this front, front curve nicely. And then I'm going to line my guideline up along the outside of the car. And what that'll do is help get us to the next point smoothly since it's a kind of straight line there. So that worked out pretty well right there. Although I should have held it down and got the little um, arrows. So the next one's going to be a curve. So again, grab with your hand. Just move around and it's, it's pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to just come here because I didn't leave any nodes on the last one. And you may know how to get the nodes once you have gotten to get them. I do not. Um, okay, then my next point, let me, um, I'm going to adjust these, this line with the carrot so my next line will head in the right direction. Actually, if you ever want to, you can actually drag this line out and that can become your next point right there. You just leave it and then there you go. And that's kind of a, a nice way to guide yourself to the next point um, by pulling one of the guideline endpoints. Okay, so next one I'm going to try to get into here in this corner and I um, probably should have tried to do this line a little smoother, but I'm for you know speed sake right now I'm going to keep moving. Um, okay, so and basically all you're going to do is just keep going around the car. Um, this has a little curve right here, so I'm going to try to get get in there first. Okay, um, next one, just try to get up here, and again, like I said, you've got quite a bit of play, you know, to get that line where you need it to be. So, you can see it's, it's lining up right along the yellow, and it doesn't have to be, you know, exact. If you've got a few pixels outside, it, it's going to be just fine. I mean keep in mind this is a car and it's going to get dropped into a background um, so there, there is a little give but the smoother you can make it the better um, and if you click make a lot of clicks click 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 it'll end up really choppy as I'm sure you can imagine so uh, now we're going to swing around probably could get even further but you know I'm going to just take care of this car right quick since I am not so experienced with this um, Okay, that's kind of nice right there, and then probably, I don't know if we can get that far. I'm not going to try to do anything too fancy right now because I really want to just get through this video for you guys. Um, Alright, and so as you can see it's kind of just, um, you know, give and take, adjust the endpoints to get your curves nice, and as I said, as you get 
more experienced, go, you know, make the lines as long as you can, um, as smooth as you can. So it'll get the car a nice, professional, smooth appearance as we drop it into the background. So I think with some practice, this could be pretty simple, you know, once you get the hang of it. So, you know, and this is probably only about the third one I've done. Um, all right, now getting around here, and you, you just want to keep going till you get till you get all the way around your car. And that I don't know what I did. That came out kind of a weird angle. Um, okay. Oh, it has to do with this. This is controlling the, the way that it's going. All right. So when you do, if you do, if you do need to leave a little, you know, give, it, it's better if you come slightly inside, you know, the pixels of the car than outside. Um, okay, and again, moving along and down here, don't don't forget about this bumper. One very very important consideration while you're cropping out cars is please pay great attention to detail. Um, oftentimes, it may be situated in front of something that's hard to distinguish if it's a piece of the car or if it's a piece of the background. Please um, use the zoom tool and also you may even sometimes have to use uh, property adjustments such as adjusting the levels um, so you get like the brightness adjusted if you, you know, if that will help you be able to distinguish uh, what's part of the car and what's part of the background, but um, please, it, as you're learning this and building, um, you know, proficiency with it, uh, take your time at first and start to learn, you know, the differentiations between the car and the, the background. Um, and sometimes it's little tiny minutia, but in the in the tiny things aren't such a big deal. But um, pay attention to detail. That's all. Okay, I guess. Um, and I'm sure you will anyway, so thank you. All right, swinging around. Um, I tend to not be the greatest person to pay attention to detail sometimes, so maybe that lesson is for me. Um, okay, and just keep going around. These curves are actually usually pretty easy to, um, to finagle just the right angle. You just take a little time with them. And like I said, once, once you get experience doing this, I think it'll be... I hope it'll be a breeze. Okay, moving right along here on the edge of the car, hand tool, and tires I found. You can usually get around the whole thing because it's kind of just a nice um, ovalish shape. So, you know, just use the, the arms and you can get a pretty nice curve around the tires. Although I did just mess up the thing up there pretty good. Um, the last part, and I don't know why it's doing that. Let me see here. If you stay still, I don't know why this one's. Okay, there we go. It shouldn't have been controlling that one. Um, okay. So again, Alt. And then, you know, get the carrot, and then you can grab in to adjust. And you can pull this guy up. Well, let's just say to the next one. This next curve, you're going to, it's going to be a little bit rounded, maybe. I'm having a horrible time seeing this, you know, where that ends. Sometimes you're going to have to just do the best you can and place it where it looks most aesthetically pleasing. Um, okay. And I'll place it there, this guy here. Um, moving along. Whoop. I hit control. I don't know what I did there. Alright. And so you want to just keep. Okay, let me go back to my point. Keep going. So we'll make this the next point. Oh, I already did. Okay. Go back. Control T. Um, okay. So we're back here. Alright, point, and then we're going to come down here, pull 
it in just a little bit. And I didn't leave arms there, so I'm not going to worry about that. Alright, and then the next one, there's kind of a curve here. And so we're going to do that one as best we can, you know. You know, we don't want to spend, you know, hours working on these things. So, um, ideally, you know, we can get this down where it's a matter of minutes. Um, so, let's I'll swing it around the tire again. And this bar is in a weird position, so I'm going to head it this way. So, I, I think that'll help my placement of my next one. All right. And again, just out on the wheel. Like I said, if you have to air, kind of air on the inside uh, rather than the outside. Um, okay, pretty good. All right, and I think I see the light at the end of the tunnel. We're getting toward the front bumper where we started. So our next point, okay, that was bizarre. That's because I have this out so far. So you can see as I get pull this back in, range them in here, it'll pull that line right in. Okay, and uh, back to this one. And now we're going to try to go all the way up around this side. That's the tire next. All right. And as you can see, this is this looks a little choppy here, and it actually will look a little choppy in my finished product, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, that's, of course, something that's going to come with proficiency. So, right here, and as you can see, I did it again. I'm going to grab this guy and bring him down, and actually, I may just make this the line. I think I will. It's not perfect, but I'm going to just let that be the line for now. Okay. And now, hmm, kind of around here and round it out a bit. And I could have done this edge a little better, but I didn't keep the things on it, so we're not going to worry about it right now. All right, hand tool. And we are almost done. Okay. And I, I'm having a really hard time seeing where the tire is there, so I'm kind of just going to guess for right now. Um, okay. And then head around this guy. Mm -hmm. And then grab this with the carrot and head it out in the direction we need it to go. And then let's see, the final point is right there. Okay, and so we have finished a whole, um, you know, rotation around the car. And now what we're going to do um, is I'm going to pause. It's not so great right there. Let's see. Carrot. And around. Okay. And like I said, just pay attention to detail. Make sure you get um, around. Pay attention to, you know, what's what's going on in the car. Um, a lot of these, these cars, especially the ones that are, like, souped up, um, have a lot of weird things in them. They are, I shouldn't say unusual, you know, they're aftermarket things added, so they're things you may not see in, every day in a car. Um, if you need to pull down this point, like it would help probably if I pulled this down a little bit, just switch to your arrow select tool, um, direct selection tool, grab it, and you can, you know, move it around if you need to. Then just make sure you get back to your pen tool. Um, okay. Oh, whoops, okay. I thought I was on the point. Okay, so we're going to get this guy and actually make a point here. Okay, and then we have to smooth this guy over here a little bit so there's a whole better angle. And um, so with curves, you know, using these little handles that you get really can give you a nice, a nice result. Um, you see, this is kind of hard to tell, but the silver over there is the bumper of the car next to them. This is still a part of their tachometer or whatever equipment they've got here. Um, wire, hard wire or something. Okay, then grab this guy and get around here. Okay. 
okay. And so it's it's pretty it's pretty simple really. Um, you know, it's it's just a matter of taking your time. Um, oh, I should have curved that last one a little bit. So. That's a little better. Okay. Mm. Okay. And this is actually a piece of it too right here. So that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Now with these, I'm being, I could have tried to curve around, but I'm, I'm just beating them up right now um, to get through. So uh, I want to, to make sure I show you how to get the, to the end result, cropping out everything you need to crop out. Um, okay, so almost there. Some of these are, are nice on the windows because they're um, straight, more straight. Uh, but you, you know, you can get as fancy as you want to get if you're really good. Um, you know go for it and, and get in there and get them real precise that'll be awesome um whoops okay i'm going to just leave these two alone um for now because they have so much reflection going on them but i guess you could actually cut right here and right here if you wanted to um matter of fact okay let me just take this one out um So, okay, we've done, cropped out the whole car. Okay, so we finished our car. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see it. We can see the lines here. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to get the selection tool and select everything. Oops, hold down shift so you can select more than one. And select everything that you just created. Okay, that one's not looking so far, but all right. Um, then go under pads, click on the work pad, go down to this drop down menu here, make selection, leave it as this zero anti alias, new selection. Okay, and as you can see now, everything is activated. So now hit Control J. Or command maybe command J on a Mac um, and you will see now you have a brand new layer with just what you isolated Ta -da! so that's beautiful okay and now in the next video we will show you how to um, do some special effects to the windows so what you want to do at this point um, if you were done here and you weren't going to do any special effects with the windows you would just want to save this um, into the you know the production folder or whatever we determine that name is going to be um, with the ticket number still attached to it um, and you know something indicating it's it's cropped so I'm just since this car is called Taz I'm just going to call it it's Tazzle Dazzle I'm going to call it Tazzle Cropped for now um, and always you want to save one um, as a PSD file with the layers so that you can come back and do anything to the layers if you need to um, and then you'll want to also save it as a PNG because that is the format we need it to be in to print so as you can see like I was saying um, here you see a little sharp corner that one not so bad um, but as you can see pretty overall you know the car looks pretty smooth and once you put it in front of a background, that may be totally, you know, non, you know, no problem anyway. So let me try to save again. Okay, so now we're going to save it as a PNG. And um, that'll be the one that we'll use to print. Um, of course, 
when you place it into a background, it's basically just you're going to take this file and just overlay it onto the background. Um, but we can create another video for that. So, okay, I hope this has been helpful, and I will also be sending along um, some written instructions. So thank you so much. Look forward to working with you. Bye.